What's up? It's your boy. Am I too close? close is that good enough i feel like it don't look good i don't give a damn how y'all doing my name is tarika lee welcome back to my channel my name is tarika lee we're back today i don't even want to do a lot of talking okay i want to get straight into the video i'm going to be trying this new thing on my channel where i respond to you guys' darkest secrets okay I told you guys, go on my Curious Cat, you know, people that follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know, I told you guys that I will be responding and reacting to you guys' biggest, darkest secrets, so I let y'all go anonymously. Nobody knows who you are, nobody knows your name, I'm not gonna leak it, trust me, girl, I don't have the time, okay? Listen, you came, you went on, you told me your deepest, darkest secrets so that you could get it off your chest. You could get it off your back, off your shoulders, okay? Get that weight off, let it release. Take it off, Jesus. Let it release, Jesus. Take it off. Take it off, Jesus. Let it release. So listen, I said, look, this will be a good exercise for people to practice, you know, getting something off their chest and giving it to me so I can air it out for people to hear so you can feel better about your guiltiness, okay? So listen, I already expect these to be out, out this world. Okay, I expect to send a lot of y'all to the pen. Listen, she's ready. I sharpened her. Because I know y'all been acting up. I know y'all been acting up and that's why I'm here, okay? I need to figure out who's going to the pen and who's going to be on house arrest and who's going out free, okay? Because I know these deepest, darkest secrets, it ain't something like I cheated on my diet last week, okay? I know it's something serious, okay? It got to be something serious. So I'm here with my gavel. And I'm here with my gavel palette. I don't know what that's called, but we period poo. So look, I wanna get straight into it. Okay, let this title card run and we gonna get right into it. Run it, run it, run it. Okay, before we get started, please make sure that um, you like and you subscribe and you comment, okay? In the comments, I wanna hear would you tell the person, okay? Because a lot of these confessions, a lot of these secrets are something that People are scared to tell people, okay? So I want you to go in the comments and I want you to react just like I'm reacting, okay? Today we're gonna be drinking Dark Horse. Again, y'all know I love to drink wine in my videos. This is not branded, this is not um, sponsored. This I was not paid for this, this is Pinot Grigio. I like this one because it's really strong. This is cute, I like her, she's pretty strong, okay? So if you have a song, I already have some. Okay, let me wait, let me wait. You're gonna wait. This is the first one, sis. Okay, I have a boyfriend that I have been dating for almost a year now. Okay, sounds cute. It works out, you know, a year, that's long. He's super loyal and a man that any female would want. Okay, so you're heterosexual. Well, you could be bi, but you know what I mean. You know, you're dating a man, you're a woman, okay, cute. I know if I lost him, I would be losing someone worthy. What'd you do, sis? But I find myself fascinating about my coworker and have wet dream about my coworker. I feel guilty, what should I do? Okay, well listen, girl, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Let me tell you something, girl. If you got a man that you love, you love being with him, you know he's valuable, you know he treats you well, why jeopardize that, okay? If you want to do something with your coworker, then you need to break up with that good man and let him get what he deserves with somebody else rather than being hurt by you, okay? So let me tell you, don't, girl, wet dreams. Wet dreams? With your coworker? Girl, either get a new job or get a new man, okay? It's up to you. If I was you, I would get a new job, okay? Because you got a good man there. But something lets me know that your boyfriend's not giving you everything that you need right now. And that's why you're kind of looking for something else outside the bedroom. You know, you're having wet dreams about this coworker, Girl. Okay, so if your boyfriend's lacking something, you need to hit up your boyfriend and tell him, you know, the sex isn't good. Period, okay? Because clearly something isn't good for you to be having wet dreams about somebody else. I used to steal my daddy's prison money that my grandparents would ask me to send to. <laughs> Why would you send your daddy commissary money? Oh my gosh. Your daddy ain't have no soap to wash his ass because of you. Your daddy couldn't buy no underwear because of you. Your daddy smelled like last week's Chinese food because of you. Your daddy is borrowing his roommate's toothbrush because of you. Girl, why are you stealing your dad's prison money? Oh my gosh. Prison. You need to join him. In the pen. With 
hit your daddy, girl, and you better take the money that you stole from him. Oh my gosh. Girl, girl, y'all need to switch places, girl. You need to be in the pen. How much money you steal? I guess he didn't have no money on his books to call your grandparents and tell him he ain't getting no money. You're going to a special place under the ground. Now to make this right, you need to tell your grandparents that you know you've been sending it to the wrong address. <laughs> no, you can't lie. To make this completely right, you need to tell your grandparents the truth. My first turn sucking D was when I was 14. I do not regret it. Period. <laughs> Period. Girl. 14? Girl. Was art class not enough? Damn. I'm the type of person that has always followed the rules. Okay. Not me. Not because I'm scary. I just feel like there's too much to lose. Okay? My confession is, I wish I was more outgoing and willing to break some rules. Girl, that was your goddamn confession. Girl, clearly you ain't break no goddamn rules. If that's your deepest, darkest secret, girl, what the hell? Girl, run a red light, girl. Steal a candy bar from the side. Girl, let me not tell her. I can't tell y'all to do these things, but girl, sometimes it's good, you know, not to follow the rules. Come on, come on, you know? I'm black and I'm gay. I, I break every rule, you know? I broke the rule of America for being black, you know? Oh, I'm black, oh. And then I break the rule of Shit, Christianity being gay. <laughs> you know, it's just like, girl, like, I mean, for me, it's just like, come on now. Like, some rules are there just to put you in place, but not really to keep you in the fence. You know what I mean? It's like, this is where you live, you know, and it's supposed to keep you inside, but you can leave. You know, it's like that. It's like that. You know, have a good time. Okay? Because this was a horrible confession. It was a horrible confession, Seth. I'm sorry. Secret slash confession. Okay? I'm DL. Oh, shit. Okay. And sometimes, wish I wasn't, because I feel like I would pull better niggas if they knew. Still can't do it, though. Okay. I don't really got no advice for you. But, um, I hope that, you know, you can come to the light one day. I caught an Uber to my ex's house one day to go Netflix and chill. And afterwards, I caught an Uber back home. On the way back to my place, I gave the Uber driver a head! No, I didn't swap! What? Jail! Jail! Wait, wait. He was your ex. You're not in a relationship. Okay, girl, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You know, you're free. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say the jail, pin, the pin, bailiff, let her go. Take off the cuffs. I'm sorry. He was your ex, y'all. Not together, girl. Have a good time. I'm here for people expressing their sexuality any way they see fit, any way that makes you feel comfortable, girl. The only thing I have to say about that is you got to be safe. Girl, I hope he had his status results in his glove department, girl. You can't just be sucking your Uber drivers, girl. You gotta be safe out here, okay? I will say some things are just random. But, girl, just be safe. But do what you like to do, girl. If that makes you happy, hey, period. Do what you like. I got pregnant, damn, okay? Well, this could be a good thing. Okay, okay let's just keep going. I got pregnant by this guy. Well, we end up coming to the conclusion that we're not ready to have a kid, okay? You sound, okay, you're probably young. With me only being fairly young and him a little bit older, we're at two different points in our lives and we wanted different things from life. Plus, we're both very far away from home due to our jobs, okay? I scheduled an appointment for my consultation for an abortion. I felt so ashamed. I didn't tell my friends because I just felt like they would judge me. That's, that, that's how it would be, honestly, to be honest. After my appointment, I told him how much everything would be and we had an agreement that we'd go half. However, I've been paying for the first two times I went to the, girl, I already know this is going, to the doctor's office. I hit him up asking when he'd send me the money and he told me that he would send it to me in the morning. The next morning, I realized that he didn't. He hadn't planned on giving me a dime because he had me blocked on everything. I was left to deal with the entire situation alone and it completely broke me. I really didn't come here to cry. I really didn't come here to cry. I, this, is, this, is a tr this is horrible. This is really horrible. And let me tell you something, baby. I don't want you to feel bad about your decision, okay? It's your body, it's your choice, and it's your life. I do want you to understand that. One. Two. I, you, 
wow, I think you should talk to someone about this. And I, and I don't want you to put this under the rug. Okay, I'm sorry we got all serious all of a sudden, but I don't want you to put this under the rug. This is something you really need to talk to somebody about. And I know that you might get some type of comfort looking at this video with me talking to you and somebody finally knowing. I, I, mean, I imagine that this guy was the only one who knew and he left you and he abandoned you. And it's not even, a, it's not even the money thing I feel like that's bothering you. I feel like it's the fact that we were in this together and then now you left me and you abandoned me. And a lot of men do this to women. And this is exactly why I think women should have full control over the whole abortion thing. Um... I need you to talk to someone. I need you to talk to either family member or your best friends because this is something I don't think you should go through alone. This is traumatizing. It is. If you let it be, okay? And and and, I, and these are things that you bury inside of you and it will it will change the way you treat guys, how you date guys, how you have sex, um safe sex. It it will change a lot, okay? And then you'll get used to not telling your best friends things because you feel like they'll judge you. You need to find someone that you know you feel comfortable with. And then sit down and have a talk with them, okay? That's all I got to say, girl. I love you, and I just wish the best for you. I really do wish the best for you. And, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Girl, tell me why I fucked my best friend while my grandparents were dead ass in a room next to me. I hope they didn't hear me moaning. Y'all are going to jail. Girl, jail. Jail. Why? Why couldn't you? I had sex with my boyfriend in his dorm on his twin size bed while his roommate was in the room sleeping. Oh, great. Girl, you ain't the only one. Girl, everybody did this. This is college. What you mean? Period. I got dry humped by a micro penis when I spent the night at a guy's house. <laughs> you dead wrong for calling his penis a micro penis, okay? He can't control that. We're cuddling at first. And you know that little scooch back you do to like feel it? <laughs> this is so funny to me. Well, I thought he was a grower. So, <laughs> so I thought he was a grower. So when it finished growing, I reached back and was trying to look for the rest of it. Well, look, I don't like blaming anybody for something they can't control. They need love too. So good for you, okay, for still going through with it and not hurting his feelings. You a real one, okay? So, reparations for you. I have a fat old man fetish. Like, I don't know, it's just something about them owning me. Girl, you wanna be a slave? You wanna be a slave? You wanna be a nigga? God damn it, girl, you wanna, god damn it. Girl, girl, absolutely not, absolutely not. <laughs> I hooked up with my best friend's man in her room. I'm gay. We still haven't told her that we use her towel as a rag. You better be lying. This you you better be trolling, cause you are wrong for multiple reasons. Not only did you cheat with her boyfriend, but you gonna use her towel? Where are your morals? I am sleeping with one of my. <laughs> I am sleeping with one of my professors. He taught me freshman year and my ultimate fantasy has come true and I'm so happy about it. Girl, you grown, so I'm so here for it, okay? That really be happening over here? Y'all really be doing that? Y'all really with you with y'all professors like that? That's great. Okay, girl, just be safe. I hope he don't lose his job and I hope you don't get expelled. I had sex with my cousin multiple times. I'm a gay black male. You probably assumed I'm white, but yeah, that's my confession. Love you, said. Girl, it better be your fifth cousin. If it's your first, second, third, or girl pushing it with the fourth, you're going to jail. Okay, M more than that, you're going to ins you're you're going incest. Okay, girl, your cousin. There's so many fish. You don't have to have sex with a girl in your reef. Girl, why your cousin? 
There's so many girls. There's so many people for you to kiss. Why are you on your cousin? Girl, you better live in a valley somewhere in Idaho where there's no option. Girl, I really hope it was your fifth cousin. Girl, I fucked my stepdad, no regrets. I see why my mom likes him so much. Okay, this is over, okay. Thank you guys for watching this. My name is Tariq Ali. I just wanted to get into some of y'all confessions. This is just some of them. There is so many to go. If you have some confessions or you have some advice for me to answer, please send it over to my curious cat. You can keep it anonymous, okay? I won't tell your name and I won't even know who you are, girl. You're one of my friends, okay? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, I'll see you guys on my next video, and um, yeah, love all my tabies.